G'day everyone, Kevin from Kent's Paint Shack, back with you guys again from sunny Christchurch in New Zealand. Um, everything's doing pretty good here. A little bit of a lockdown, like a level two, uh, level three up in Auckland, but overall everything's pretty, pretty good down this way. Um, it's been a lovely sunny day. It's near the end of the day now. Just thought I'd do a quick post. Um, I have been painting, um, but a lot of my figures have, like it's, it's for clients, or I actually sold some of my, like I sold my Germanic um, tribesmen, or most of them. Um, so they've been just kind of they've flicked out the door before I've actually gone, oh, forgot to take photos. So um, I've got a few photos at the end here, quite an eclectic group of figures, some some Greeks, um, German Volkswagen, there's a, a, a HMG and a, a wee gun, a couple of English um, World War II snipers, some Japanese, four Japanese figures. It's, it's like... The, the dregs of um, one of my client's boxes, it's like, okay, so I'll grab some of this, some of that, and this. Um, he bought the Germanic figures, so he sent me a Warlord Games uh, Germanic Tribes, Tribes and Cav, Cavalry, and um, he's I've, I'm working now on a, a box of Vitrix as well, and he sent some archers, some metal archers by Warlord Games. So, um, I mean, Warlord Games, the Ancients is not my favourite stuff. But these ones aren't, they're not too bad. They paint up, they paint up all right. Like most things, you know, you paint them up and they actually, they actually do the job. They paint up quite nicely. So, so yeah, I'll just, I'm going to flick those photographs up afterwards. So I hope everyone's doing well. I know, I know the, the world's in a bit of a, bit of turmoil, a bit of a mess at the moment. But, um, hey, we're going to get through, um, enjoying some, watching some videos. Um, it's amazing some of the work that you guys are, are putting up. Um, I must do some more commenting. I know I say that a lot, but uh, this has been a crazy year. I'm working on three essays at the moment. Um, Got to be finished um, in a few weeks' time. So it's like, I'm just like, do that, flick upstairs, do a little bit of painting, flick downstairs, do some study. So um, yeah, it's, it's pretty full on here, but uh, enjoying life um, and um, yeah, enjoying getting a bit of pain done again. So um, What's on the rack at the moment? Vitrix uh, 28 mil um, Germanic tribes. So I'm working through those. Also, I'm working through Gripping Beast 10 mil uh, Romans. I, these are not my good glasses. I had to buy some uh, new glasses so I could actually see them properly. They were just a little tad too small for me. Um, and I got, I think it's a Parthian um, army as well there. So yeah. So yeah, just just stuff. Um, Oh, and I've got some Celts that I'm going to be basing up that have been painted for a client for a long time, um, but he had some troubles and hasn't been out of pay so, for over a year. So uh, it looks like things are going to start moving there again, which is awesome. I, you know, really wanted the best for this guy. It's not his fault that he couldn't pay. It just just happened. So I'll base those up, and um, yeah, it'll be another another job done, another job complete. So hey, yeah, as I said, take care, enjoy the photos. Cheers, guys. Hey, and if you haven't subscribed. Why not give it a crack? Cheers. Bye. Okay, this is a Japanese from uh, Assault Group. Um, nice, nice minis. Um, and then we have uh, Fulton Jager, German Fulton Jager from Warlord Games. Uh, these guys, I'd already painted um, some some of these guys up. Um, I've kept one. He's he's on the uh, photograph with the sniper, just so I could have uh, try and, try and match them up when I was was painting them. But that didn't come out uh, too too bad at all. Uh, it's not my favourite pattern to um, to paint, but um, like when it works, it, it really works. So yeah, here's the the German guy on the left and the two British on the on the right. I'm, I probably should have uh, had them pointing at each other, but <laughs> uh, okay. So here we get the uh, the German Cav from um, Warlord Games. One of the things that um, in the past I've really disliked about Warlord Games is the um, the cavalry. Um, it's to me it's not anatomically correct. I must admit these horses are a lot better than the ones that were previous that I've come across previously. So yeah, I was really quite happy to paint these up. Um, sadly, the one of the horses was was broken when it arrived. It had two two broken legs. And I think it's that guy on the far side there. So I think the next shot, yeah, he's on a wee bit of a lean still. Um, but hopefully he'll be fine. Did a bit of work um, trying to secure him. Uh, but I think overall I was really happy with that. These these figures are from Warlord Games as well. There's two sets of archers, eight of them. 
Um, I don't know whether they're always on a lean, so on these bases they they quite like to tip over. It's got some foundry figures here, which were from mine, and then following a Greek warlord game. So yeah, yeah. So overall, all in all, pretty good. Hey, take care, guys. Cheers. Bye.